To pick up where we left off, let's learn more about the CIA Triad. The CIA Triad is a model that represents the three fundamental security goals of any organization – confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Let's have a look at confidentiality first. Confidentiality is the property that information is not made available or disclosed to unauthorized individuals, entities, or processes. Let me explain you this concept by using a simple example centered around Alice and Bob. Alice is about to send a message to Bob. However, the message she wants to send to Bob contains confidential information. In other words, she does not want anyone other than Bob to read it. Now, imagine a third person somehow gaining access to the message after it has been sent. If the attacker manages to do so, he is able to read the content of this message and therefore the message is no longer confidential. This is what we call a violation of the confidentiality security objective and can have serious consequences depending on the nature and the content of this message. So information security is about ensuring that information is not made available or disclosed to unauthorized entities. The second security objective is integrity. Integrity is the property of accuracy and completeness. Don't worry, this might sound complicated, but it's not. Again, let's assume Alice wants to send another message to Bob. Just like before, an attacker is able to gain access to the message. We already know that this is a violation of confidentiality. But this time, the attacker does not only read the message, the attacker also changes the content of the message and therefore violates its integrity. Bob will not receive the initial message of Alice. Instead, he receives an altered message without even knowing so. The initial message is no longer accurate or complete. Last but not least, availability as the third security objective is the property of being accessible and usable on demand by an authorized entity. Information is usually stored on central database systems and is made available via network technology. Like many others, Alice and Bob are enjoying the flexibility and convenience of services provided via the internet. One of the services they are using is the online banking service of their bank. Both of them are relying on this service to pay their bills and secure their savings. If an attacker or any other threat is able to disrupt the provisioning of information, it can have serious consequences on organizations or society. Imagine the bank of Alice and Bob losing the information of the balance of their checking accounts. So information has to be available when needed. We just covered all three of the security objectives and this takes us to the end of this lecture. Let's have a look at the key learnings and repeat what we just learned. Information is an asset that needs protection. Information exists in different forms like digital, material, or unrepresented form. Information security ensures the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information. Please remember this definition, it is very important. Confidentiality, integrity, and availability are the so-called security objectives. We have now learned the basics about information security.